The San Andreas Fault is a term known all too well with doomsday theorists. It is said that if this fault line were to rupture, it would cause an earthquake and tsunami unlike anything the world has seen before. But how true are the claims? Join us as we dive into what would happen if the San Andreas Fault were to rupture tomorrow. For those that don't know, the San Andreas Fault is a fault line that runs down most of the Californian coast. There have been many rumors and predictions as to when this slow-moving fault could trigger an earthquake and how devastating it would be. Some scientists even say that it could be one of the worst earthquakes of all time. This has given it the nickname, The Big One, and people seem to be waiting for it to hit any day. However, the big one isn't as likely to happen soon as you may think. There are often decades or even hundreds of years between big earthquakes caused by the fault. The very southern part of the fault hasn't ruptured in 300 years. However, the northern part, near San Francisco, is much more volatile. In 1994, a 6.7 magnitude earthquake hit the San Fernando Valley along with two 6.0 magnitude aftershocks. That killed 57 people, injured thousands, and caused billions of dollars in property damage. Scientists have even said it is possible for an earthquake with a magnitude of 8 or higher to hit California. However, it's not likely an earthquake this big will happen anytime soon. But say the magnitude 8 earthquake did strike, what would happen? The big one would make the 1994 San Fernando Valley earthquake seem like a joke. Depending on where exactly it struck, the devastation would be far greater and the impact would last for a much longer time. A magnitude 8 earthquake in Southern California would destroy old buildings and cause hell for the infrastructure of the area. Most modern buildings and skyscrapers would not topple over like in a movie, but many could be severely damaged and made unusable. As a result of the earthquake, fires would start all over Southern California, sowing further destruction. But the quake itself would not be the biggest problem. It's the aftermath and the weeks to follow that would be disastrous. Roads would be blocked or destroyed. Water, electric, and telephone lines would go out. Some dams would even break, causing there to be thousands of landslides. Even worse, aftershocks from the earthquake would cause more and more destruction in the days following the initial earthquake. All of Los Angeles would be without water, gas, telephones, sewers, and electricity. 13 million people in the Los Angeles metro area would have to spend months without these basic services, and it could take more than a year to fully repair the damage. Hundreds of thousands of people would be displaced by the disaster. This would cause a total collapse of the economy in the Los Angeles area. People would leave the city and its metro area en masse. As an example, New Orleans lost about a third of its population following Hurricane Katrina. If Los Angeles suffered the same way, that would mean more than a million people leaving. LA would survive, but it would take a long time to recover, and it would only be a shell of its former self. Because of movies and end-of-the-world-like scenarios online, many might have slightly skewed ideas of what would happen. Even if our prediction is a little extreme, we can pretty much guarantee you won't see any giant tsunamis sweeping over all of California. 
for a big ass tsunami to form, a massive earthquake has to happen on the ocean floor like in Japan in 2011. Because the San Andreas Fault is on land, it wouldn't create any huge waves. Also, this wouldn't result in a giant chasm opening up in California. The two plates causing the fault are sliding past each other, not ripping apart. While seismometers in the east coast would detect the earthquake, it wouldn't cause any damage that far away. So there's no tsunami potential and a giant chasm won't open up. Even so, the San Andreas Fault rupturing would still be really destructive. It would cause hundreds of billions of dollars in damage, thousands would lose their lives, and hundreds of thousands more would be injured. The LA area might never fully recover from such an earthquake. Now there is still some hope of avoiding total disaster, but things still don't look too promising. Old buildings can be reinforced to handle earthquakes better. Aqueducts can be strengthened as well. Telephone and internet lines can have backups. Emergency services in the area could work to come up with a plan in case such an event were to ever occur. However, this would all take millions of taxpayer dollars and decades to build and retrofit old buildings. On the individual level, people can buy fire extinguishers to put out the fires in their own homes caused by the earthquake, and stockpiling food and water just in case. It is a bit of a doomsday scenario, but it can't hurt to be prepared. And no, an actual rupture of the San Andreas Fault would not be like the movie, but it would be pretty damn catastrophic. Not only would a lot of people die, but also millions would have to endure terrible living conditions for months. The economy of Southern California would collapse, and the thriving metropolis of Los Angeles might not fully recover. An earthquake that big would be one of the worst natural disasters of the century. Perhaps the best thing you could do is simply keep an eye on what scientists are saying. It is possible that there would be some increased activity before a major event. So, have a plan ready to evacuate, and other than that, just live your life like normal. Who knows when or even if something like this will occur. For all we know, it might not even be in our lifetime. If you enjoyed this video and want to see another just like it, then be sure to click the link on screen now. With that, thank you all for watching, and be sure to tune in next time.